You know you can't live forever, right? You know you can't jump and then hang in the air as long as you want. Jordan, look at that. Holy cow. You know you can't decide you're going to change everything and then actually do it. Whose game is it? It's Michael Jordan's game. You know you can't have a name that everyone on the planet recognizes and no one will ever forget. The world just doesn't work that way. You can't live forever. Or can you? But why Michael Jeffrey Jordan? Why, as he turns 50, is he still the one? Don't tell me it's because he's the greatest of all time. Get beyond basketball. Go bigger, higher. Go to a place no one had ever gone before Michael Jordan. A conception of oneself no athlete ever had. Not Oscar, Russell, Wilt, the Babe. Broadway Joe, not even Ali. Only Michael has left behind something like this. You know, as a kid, you look for a superhero, and then you look for a hero. You know, Mike was really like both for me. Michael Jordan's wings, when he jumped, he gave me a belief that I could do the same. Well, purchasing that little logo gives you a little bit of help to get better grades, to be a better person, to be a great athlete, then sign me up for it. Because really, for me, that's what Michael Jordan exudes. It is hard to believe that he's 50 years old. Because in my mind, I'm still a child when I think about watching him play. And the crowd was kind of anticipating things, and you know, I was all by myself, so it was time for creation. I used to think about Michael Jordan all the time. What would it be like to meet him? You know, what would it be like to see him play in person? Like, who is MJ? You know, is it the shoes? Is it the shoes? No, Mark. Money's gotta be the shoes. Shoes, shoes, shoes. You sure it's not the shoes? I'm sure, Mark. Two truths for you, side by side. It wasn't the shoes. No, Mark. But it became the shoes. Because art really did start to imitate flight. The shoes became part of every shot. The shoes became part of the legend. Jumpman is something that's global. Everywhere you go, I don't care what country. Not city, I don't care what country you're in, everybody knows the Jumpman symbol. Nike signed Jordan to a contract his rookie year. And in that first season, as he donned the original Air Jordans and rocked Larry Legend to sleep, the deal grossed over $130 million. It was soon determined he couldn't share the swoosh. And so in 1986, the Jumpman arrived. The Jordan 3 was the first shoe with the Jumpman, which was really what I always felt was the beginning of the brand, the beginning of Michael as a more singular identity in the world of business and sports. The evolution was essential. Michael Jordan couldn't just keep wearing shoes that looked the same. Not when they were destined to be part of so much history. Not when they were the last things to touch the ground before he took off from the line. Or kicked out sideways in utter elation after the shot. The shoes evolved as Michael did. As he became a champion. A marvel even a perplexing virtuoso. I'm very solid with my decision of not to uh, play the, the game of basketball. And when Michael stopped playing, a lot of people said that it's over. You know, he, he's not on the court anymore, so it's over. Michael had retired right when I was working on the Jordan 10. And a lot of people at Nike were really sad that he retired because it was like, well, that's, that's it. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to work on the 11 because I wanted to prove those folks wrong. Michael Jordan, 
out of the game at the apex of his domination. The man wasn't playing, but the shoe was still there, at the center of performance, style, and fashion. It was on the Music Awards. Boys to Men came out on stage, and they were all wearing tuxedos, and they had the Jordan 11s on. A few months later, Michael himself laced up the 11 as he returned to where he belonged, walking back into the court for that unforgettable second act, another three-peat. It's Christmas in March, and here was this big, beautifully wrapped box that was being given to fans, to networks, to everybody. The best player who ever played decided that he was coming back. By then, the man had become the brand. Maybe words like those don't sound as pretty as the jumper in Utah in Game 6, but recognize the relevance. It starts with the gift to hit that shot, but so many years later, it endures through what he did with the gift. Six NBA titles, six final MVP awards, 10 scoring titles, and one trip to the Basketball Hall of Fame. This is far bigger than playing basketball. The hope that you give people is the mother that says, if you work hard enough, you might be like the man that can fly. It's the little kid that, for no other reason, says, one day, I'm going to be Michael Jordan. The man is 50 years old, and he's still hanging in the air. Everyone on the planet still knows his name, knows he changed everything, knows what he represents. So happy 50th birthday, Michael. You're gonna live forever anyway. <laughs>